strangest thing the other day. A man sat down at the piano to play. He didn't dance or joke or sing. Hey, Christopher. <coughs> it was the strangest thing. thing. Quietly, he walked Ooh, across the trope? stage. He made no attempt to hide his age. Hiding over here. He didn't have a thing to say. Not a thing to say. He just sat down to play. Thank you. Thank you, Mary Jane. He wore an ordinary this suit. This is Anne Hampton Calloway singing on my record uh, live at Didn't Fat Tuesdays. The blues. And his and feet, this, they did not stop or stamp. I wrote this song about Horowitz, a Horowitz concert. He didn't use a keyboard or an amp. And he played Roger Kellaway on the piano. Centuries ago. It was music everybody seemed to know. That man can sing. He didn't dance or joke or sing. It was the strangest thing. Play it, Roger. Callaway could still reach the modern heart with my little band and Roger Callaway and Terry Didn't Clark. dance or joke or sing. It was the strangest thing. It was the strangest thing. It was the strangest <laughs> Very nice. What's it, what's up next? Same song. I think we'll just uh, do a little chord fade. Oh, I'm getting so good. I amaze myself. Now I'll turn that off. Turn off iTunes so it doesn't play forever in the background. Yes, Mary Jane's stuff is fabulous. I think when I get a million dollars, I might, 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 no, no, not a million, my, my 14th million. I, the first 13 I need, you know, for things. My 14th million, I'm going to buy Mary Jane Harper paintings. They're beautiful. If you haven't seen them, folks, go to Mary Jane Harper on, on Facebook and just look at those beautiful paintings. They're all so... Hello, Al Kutzen. They're absolutely beautiful. How are you and Sunny tonight? Everything all right out there in uh, Long Island? Oh, I, 
thanks you well yeah I mean, it's real hello Gucci 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 I don't know how to say it really I don't know Gucci Gucci that's not it Gucci Gucci Sado sorry not to make fun just to, just to be another unilingual American one language away from not being able to talk at all I don't know who said that, but it was true. What am I doing here? I hope I'm not affecting everybody else. Well, it looks like, let me see. This way, I just don't feel like getting up right now. <laughs> just don't feel like getting up. So let's see what we got. Let's see. I played... Uh, Let's see what let's see what we did with this song. Don't take a boy oh, that's and turn him into a soldier. It's Marine McGovern. Don't teach a boy how to kill. Couldn't get anybody. Don't take a boy and teach him to be tough. <laughs> he will learn that soon enough. Ooh. Yes, he will. Wow. Now I totally forgot this. Don't take a boy and bury his feelings. <laughs> Buried feelings do not make a man. Don't take a boy and teach him life's dirty dealings. Take a boy, hold him tight. While you can, yes, let the flower grow. So it's uh, Marie McGovern, Elmer. Marie McGovern. We'll have the strength of which you dream, Good. and someday he'll be grown. Have a mind all his own. She does indeed. She does me proud, that's for sure. She and I've been friends for fifty years. No well, maybe forty five. She wouldn't like fifty. I don't care. Impeccably beautiful singing. Wow. We'll have the strength of which you dream. And someday you'll be grown. Have a child all his own. Who will think thoughts that run clear?
Somehow the the uh, YouTube the iTunes wants to go back to Kenny Barrett. Not now, Mr. iTunes. We're going to be saying, "Boy, that's uh, quite surprising to me because I didn't really uh, I didn't remember." Period at all. Um, it's been you know thirty years since we did the record, and um, I don't know. I I wasn't thrilled with it at first. And I quickly just sort of swept it under the rug. And now I go back and realize, oh, gee, it's a pretty nice record. If you like that kind of, if you like music. Uh, Maureen is exquisite. Yes, she is a brilliant singer. I mean, but to, to get Maureen and Anne Hampton Calloway on the same record, what a, I, I didn't do it, the producer did it. Uh, hell, I don't even remember it. Uh, and Grady. And Grady singing on it. Grady and I, <laughs> I'm surprised that album didn't sell well over 10, maybe 15 albums. Didn't sell for me. Uh, because the company that put it out uh, didn't promote it. Didn't promote it at all. At all. No money. I don't know why people do that. They make records, spend a lot of money making records, and don't try to make any money selling the records. It's like a bad business model. Maybe they just want to hang around with the artists or something. Which is, of course, for the artist, a good business model, you know. But for them, it doesn't seem like a very profitable situation. If you're going to make a record, plan to promote it. Hell, I've promoted my own records far more than anybody else has. Uh, companies promoted my, the records I did for them. Well, that, with the exception of digital music products, who really, Tom Young's digital music products, which did sell a lot of records. They really made a, a, a point of selling records. Right, Mr. Trophy? Correct. You're going to make a record, sell the damn thing. Okay. That's it. Goodbye. Okay. That's some words of wisdom from Trophy and McTrophe. Resident wisdom, wise man. Now, it's inevitable. It had to come. I've got to go to pick up that bass. But before I do, I just want to say that I couldn't make the sound any better last night because it was out, much of it was out of my hands, and I didn't really have the desire to go messing with sound. So I just put my iPad, with my its little magical mic, just stuck it in and uh, said, okay, here we are. And uh, it was all right. It was okay. It needed to be, uh, the sound needed to be fixed a little bit. It was ridiculous. But the third set turned out pretty well. Not the third set, the second set. I think last half of the second set or something like that. It was sounding great. Um, surprising. Anyway, it, it was fun. Jim Oakland and I had a ball. Well, we're going to get together next week out and hope and do another show out there with lots of... Uh, you have good food and drinks. Yes, yes, yes. Great food and drinks, as a matter of fact. Elmer, thank you for asking, but this place, Shanghai Jazz, is really, really up there food process totally and uh, had some kind of Korean rice patties that weren't <clears throat> weren't little pieces of rice it's like made into little patties of some sort oh my god it was all so good Shanghai Jazz it, 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 and they make lots of music I agree sound was fine sound was great last night says Stephen Goldberg well <laughs> I thought that what I got 
the recordings I back, got back today were not good. The, the second set was good, but the first set didn't sound so good. Anyway, uh, that being said, it's now time to uh, go to the bass violin on the wall, take the little bass violin off the wall, and see, I went through a, a lot of, I went through fake books today and I found so many good songs, oh, fake books, the same one, this one here. The Real Vogel Book. And uh, boy, did I find some great, I mean, just wonderful songs. Belly high may call you any night, any day. In your heart, you will hear it. In your heart, you'll hear it call you. Come away, come away. Who could resist that? Oh, your own special hopes, your own special dreams. Bloom on the hillside and shine in the streams. If you try, oh, you'll find it where the sky meets the sea. Here am I, your special island. Come to me, come to me. Me, belly high, belly high, belly high. Please, no crying. No cheers. Richard Rogers and Oscar Hammerstein. Steen? Stein. Hammerstein. Be careful. Ba -boo, ba -boo, ba -boo. It is my heart. It's not my watch you're holding. It's my heart. It's not the note I send you that you quickly burn. It's not the book I lend you that you never return. Remember, it's my heart. The heart with which I willingly I spare. Yours to take, to keep or break. Please, before you start, be careful. It's my heart. Now, I didn't know. I had no idea that Irving Berlin wrote that. I thought it was like something. I thought it was Sammy Kahn or something like that. No kidding. Irving Berlin. I said to myself, after, after, uh, be careful, it's my heart. I said, if I'm lucky, I'll run across one of my songs and show off. And sure enough, on the very next page, Beat My Dog by Jay Leonhardt. Now, you may say, what is a song like that doing in, in here? I say that to myself. For this exquisite work, which I will now render for you. I will gladly render Beat My Dog. I mean, the fact that it sits in this book with all these fat, fabulous songs is mind-blowing to me. I don't know how it came to pass, but I'll take it. You beat my dog, you eat my frog, you drink up on my gin. You bay at the moon, you sleep till noon, and you never tell me where you've been. I buy you clothes, I fix your nose, I steal you ruby rings. You break the rules, you pee in pools, you do outrageous things. Woman, woo, woo. I lie, I cheat, I steal, I cry for you. Woman, ooh, bo, 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 bo. woman, I'd lay down my life and die for you, woman. Do, 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 do. Bim, bam, bam. Well, you take my car, you drive so far, you come back with a tank on E. Your hair all messed, and you half dressed, and you just look at me. You're out all night, you come in tight, you fall down on my bed. And there you lay for all the next day, for all I know, you <laughs> dead. Woman, I lie, I cheat, I steal, I cry for you. Woman, woman, I'd lay down my life and die for you, woman. Do, 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 bam, bam, bam. 
Well, listen, friend, this has got to end. We got to have ourselves a talk. Things got to change. They got to rearrange. Somebody gonna take a walk. Now I ain't the one to put down fun, but this time you've gone too far. You smoke my hash, you spend my cash. Who the hell you think you are? You beat my dog, you eat my frog, you drink up all my gin. You bay at the moon and you sleep till noon and you never tell me where you've been. I don't know why I even try to change the status quo. Cause you break the rules, you pee and poo. And still I love you so pretty baby. Still I love you so pretty baby. Still I love you so pretty baby. Still I love you so. Oops. There it is. And as I was singing, I realized how that song got in there was because Audrey McDonald recorded it and everybody 30 years ago there was a rash of records about this song. So that's how it got in the book. That's how it made the book. And they do it in key of D flat. You you beat my beat, you beat my dog and they got the wrong melody. You you beat my dog, you eat my frog. You you beat my dog, you eat my frog, drink up on my gin. Bay at the moon, you sleep till noon, and you never tell me where you've been. I buy you clothes, I fix your nose, I root ru ruby ring. Mm. You break the rules, you pee and pools, you do outrageous things. No, that's, that's right. That's right. You beat my do 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 do. You beat. Oh, there you go. There you go. There we go. Flat is third instead of you beat my dog, you eat my frog. They go, you beat my dog, you eat my frog. I drink up all my gin. Maybe they took. I think that maybe that might have been the way that Audra sang it. You beat my dog, you eat my frog. You beat my dog, you eat my frog. You drink up all my. Well, I'll have to have a talk with him. Never. There will be no talks with him about that. Oh. It's not easy being green Having to spend each day the color of the leaves When I think I could be nicer being red or yellow or gold Or something much more colorful like that It's not easy being green It seems you blend with so many ordinary things People tend to pass you over because you're not standing out like flashy sparkles in the water or stars in the sky. But green is the co color of spring. And green can be cool and friendly like. And green can be big like an ocean or important like a mountain or tall like a tree. When green is all there is to be, it could make you wonder why, oh why wonder, why wonder, I am green and it'll do just fine, it's beautiful and I think it's what I need to be, that wasn't bad, but I know the song, I can always cite me songs I know, that's one of my talents, if I know how the melody goes, then I can concentrate on the words and I don't have to worry about it. But I was actually reading the melody too at some point. Being green, my wife has a, oh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get her record and play it. I'm gonna start playing her record. Wait till you hear that. She, Michael arranged it. I played on it. Me and Musica played on it. A lot of really good, play. I'm gonna start playing songs from that. I hope, I know we can do it because Francois, it's Francois's record. So he'll give us permission. He won't sue us. It's not easy to sing and play the bass. You're a lovely group of people. You deserve the courtesy of knowing what you can expect of me. I practice, but it will not mean a thing. Because it's green and it's time for spring. You're a lovely group of people. You deserve the courtesy 
of knowing what you can expect of me. I have practice, but it will not mean a thing. Cause it's green like the first day of spring, spring, spring. You see the bass is fretless, it's not like a guitar. On bass you spend your whole life wondering how much green you are. It's got no little markers, just a finger point so fair. And lots of notes which often are not there. Do -de 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 Some bass become impossible to find uh, To remember lyrics, melodies, bass lines, chords Is no less a miracle than Lord do do de do do de do de do do de So as I make a thousand hymns Sit there and be kind <coughs> Do not throw tomatoes at me Keep this song in mind Remember this is serious Remember this is art Remember this or I will fall apart. Then I'd have to pray to God to come and intercede. And she'd only sit and laugh at my want and greed. She made the rules for molecules, atoms, is time and space. Yeah, she made the rules for molecules, atoms, time and space. Do made the rules for molecules, atoms, time and space. And she knows it's impossible. She knows it's impossible. Yes, she knows it's impossible. To sing and play with the bass. The bass. The bass. a bow in about a month. Reason? I have to go and get some rosin. This is a, a, this bass has never been played on the show before. This is another Stoll bass, S-T-O-L-L -L from Germany, from the Black Forest. And interesting, can you see the pegs on this bass? Can you see the, the tuning pegs on it? They're kind of cut out. Can you see how they're cut out? The, the pegs up here. Well, when I was young, and wait, Ray Brown was my idol. He had a big, heavy bass he used that had keys for tuning pegs, like rounded keyholes, very thick, round keys. And I loved that. So I bought a bass. Uh, my father actually bought the bass when I was about 16 from a, a really good mitten bald bass. A uh, little, kind of light, but uh, after we worked on it, it got better. And I put those keys on it. I put rounded keys like that. And I loved having it. And then the bass got stolen. I let it get stolen in Washington, D.C. Oh, what a terrible mess. What a terrible thing that was. Well, um, I missed that bass terribly. And only recently have I noticed that these stole basses coming from Germany 
are exactly like them. They may even be, and they may be predecessors of them. So they're exactly like that. And this one came with rounded, with hollow tuning pegs, just like raised bass. They're different, slightly different. Uh, but nonetheless, when I saw it, and the way it plays, it has... Much deeper low end than the the other one I played, you know, three quarter. This is more closer to seven eighth size, but uh, it's got a huge. And I, I do love this instrument. This is probably my favorite instrument. It is my favorite. Even though the other one's fun to play, it's lighter, easier to carry around. Uh, the fingerboards are different lengths, so you have to find where the D on the other bass is here. It's not here. It's slightly north. Slightly north. So every time I play, I have to sort of... Uh, what you do is you don't look. you got to not look, because if you look, you're going to get off. So you... I look all of a sudden the, the, the landmarks that I've gotten so used to with I guess I don't uh, see I'm supposed to know this 41 inch string length 42 inch string lengths all that stuff this I don't know I don't know how it's what the length of the string is it goes from here to here that's how long it is I could measure it but I certainly won't um, but anyway I love this bass down for a minute after having sung being green and feed my doggy it's time to take a, it's time for the bass player to take a rest last night was fun wasn't it uh, you play with a Dane with the never ending name how much how you played with the Dane with the never ending name we're bearing bear Oh, wait a minute. What's going on? This. Trofelt J with his tuning pin. Danes are great. Wait a minute. I missed so much. I've got to go back. Excuse me. You pardon, you'll all pardon me while I go back and review what the hell you people have been talking about. <laughs> this, interesting listening to all you guys. I haven't even started. When you've reached the last lap, you're near the finish line. Uh, Bo Lenhart, Martha. Uh, no, Bo is Martha Jean, Martha, uh, Martha Jean Lenhart's younger sister. She's my younger sister. Was Bo here with us this evening? I, I, I played, oh yes, you can sight read music. You've heard, you must have inherited Martha's music. Yeah, oh, that's Bowie. That's my sister Bo, my sweet sister Bo, who is, we miss because she was giving Vaughn mathematic tutoring and something happened to it i don't know what happened to it but bo thank you uh vaughn is working hard you can cite music you've heard you must have been here well <laughs> i know that's the joke of it it's a hell of a lot easier to cite music you know how it goes already but i can play you know um sight reading in the treble clef it's not my forte. I can read the notes, but I can't. I'm not used to. Where do I play the fingers? Do I play them an octave lower? Or should I play them up high with a rhythm? And in the meanwhile, um, and if it's a melody, I don't know. <laughs> I don't play it as well. I, you know, I'm, I'm not a genius. I'm a bass player. Uh, Mike Miller, Bo Lenhart, Martha. No, that's Bo Lenhart. Martha Jean is my other sister who lives in France, and she watches it in the morning. She she sometimes tunes in late at night because it's you know it's one thirty. At least one thirty where she is. And uh, so she always I think she comments. See she sometimes watches it live. If she knows it's going on, and she can't resist being part of it. Was Kermit a bass player? 
Uh, I probably, yeah, I'm, I suspect he was. He's got the good, got the good sense of a bass player. Yes, that's what I said. When you reach, when you, this is Howard West, when you reach the last lap, you are near the finish line. Oh, oh, where's Howard? Howard's right there, right behind you. I haven't even started, said Stephen Goldberg. Howard, Mike Knox. Listening to all of you guys. The frog. He makes an appearance. Helm on the still hymnals. That was a very sweet remark. <laughs> There's nothing like a Dane. Danes are very nice people. They are indeed, says Helga. Danes are great. <laughs> Trof helped Jay with his tuning pick. Where is Trof? To replace your stolen bass. We're, we're bearing up under this onslaught. Yes, we are. Thank you. Thank you, Al. <laughs> Neither time nor think nor way will stop me from doing this. Uh, that's part of my French. You play great with, you played with the Dane with their never ending name. That's great. My part of my French. I actually did play with Niels Henning Orsted Pedersen. We had a couple gigs together. Uh, did you get it on eBay? No, no, I did not. I bought it right from David Gage here in town. And uh, they made, made a nice deal with me, and I bought it. I bought two of them, as a matter of fact. I bought two of them when I sold George de Vivier's bass. I made a little profit on it. So I, uh, I uh, bought two bases, paid off a college education, and, uh, and uh, all like that. You know, that was the, <laughs> I've told many times, it's the only investment I ever made what, that actually went up in value. It's the only one. I bought stamps. I bought mutual funds. Uh, I did put money in the AFM pension, and that did supposedly go up. Um, but it's, it's paying me. It's paying me, so I'm not complaining. NHOP, NHOP. Herp, herp. Yes, what a bass player. What a bass player. Absolutely. And, uh, oh, more music, please. <laughs> One of our viewers has requested more music. Less talk and more music. Oh, all right. I get it. Um, okay, well, first of all, I've got to have a drink. It's a very purple smoothie, so that means it's got uh, blueberries. Keep drinking that stuff. I'm going to live to be 60. More music. Bill Crow. I wish I knew Lions from Lions. I'd play it. Maybe I do that. Do da do dee do do da dee do do dee do 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 da do da do da do 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 da do 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 dee do dee do. should be oh, 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 oh. I'll chip and fall and kill myself. Bye. 
So they say He don't do nothing but make love to the ladies And find this up shady spot too late He don't feed himself or hunt He don't cook or watch the kids Just miss, uh, just lets the ladies do it all He don't earn a living He don't do no giving Let's the ladies do it all I got to laugh when I think about that lion. Me and his honcho in the den. But you see, he's only king long as the ladies want him round. And then he's back out on the road again. Back out on the road again. I don't remember how the rest of it goes. The lion is just tricky. She's finicky, particular. I can't bear to struggle through another song that I half remember. Um, I worked all morning. All morning. I didn't work all morning. I practiced in the car uh, some other time because I want to be able to sing it by memory, but it's it's a tricky little lyric. So uh, I can't remember the uh, beginning line of it. Where, where has the time all gone to? Where's the time all gone to? Haven't kind of, haven't been able to finish the things we want to. Haven't been able to finish. Oh well, we'll catch up some other time. Today was just a token. Too many words still remain unspoken. Oh my, we'll catch up some other time. Just when the fun, just when the fun is starting, now it's time for party. But let's be glad the, the time we had. Uh, da, 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 is that, and I worked hard on this one. Uh, See, I can't think of it. Um, and I sat in the car and remembered it. And I could do it. But now the words have slipped. They've slipped. Um, da, 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 see, it was time for embracing. Oh, da, 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 but time is racing. Oh, well, see, I'm getting there. I'm getting there. I'll, I'll have it. I'll have it. Because I didn't sit with a bass and go. Dan, daddy, did. It's the first time I tried to play it by memory. And I didn't do a very good job. It's a challenge. It's a feat. It's a challenge. It's a feat, but a responsibility. It's a, it's a challenge. It's a feat, but a responsibility we meet. I sang this so high. Something that New Yorkers must see through. It's a drag. It's a pain. But a fact of life so very plain. Something that we simply have to do. As the garbage must. I'm going to try to sing it down. It's, it's a challenge. It's a feat. But a responsibility we meet Something that New Yorkers must see through It's a drag, it's a pain But a fact of life so very plain Something that we simply have to do As the garbage must be schlepped So the streets they must be swept From the west side to the FDR so at crack of dawn, 
the alarm clock switches on. You get up, get dressed, go down and move the car. Every morning at eight o'clock, every auto on the block must vacate the, the chosen side. And as the sweeper passes by, peace sweeper passes by, sweeper passes by. The dirt and dust do fly. We sit and watch and nearly burst with civic pride. But you've double parked your car and you must not wander far. Cause someone who you're blocking in may find he must get out, get out. And if they can't locate you, they quickly come to hate you. A little slice of life you're better off without. Just take a bus, a taxi, limousine, or rent a hearse. And if you're fearless in the brain, you'll take a subway train. Just hold on to your bag, your money, wallet, and your purse. Oh, our whole lives we are spending in this ritual on unending. Because we're New Yorkers to the core, to the core. Every morning, bleary eyed, we move our cars from side to side as we will forevermore. So, do do to our cars, we gaily prance just to do the daily dance as we will forevermore. the key. Now that I know how the bridge goes in the key of G, I can forget it. The next time I'll struggle and have it again. Somebody yell out E minor on the second four of the bridge and I'll be fine. Um, oh, I had so many thoughts while I was playing with it. The thoughts just race through your head. You're, you're performing, and all of a sudden, all these thoughts come flying through. It's a really amazing, an amazing process. I'm playing this song, thinking of the lyrics, and meanwhile, thoughts are rushing through my heads like the little quarks and muons that come, that rush through our bodies at billions, at right now, at a second. How we, how we live with that, I guess we, the reason we live with it is because without it, we wouldn't live. Those little quarks and muons that come from the sun and everywhere else from space are the answer to our existence, you see. Without them, we disappear. Just, I'm just telling you. So in my song about photons, which I can't do right now, I can't do it by memory. I used to be able to do it by memory. You see that I'm, let me see, you know if, let me see you know if I really understand this. You split a photon on a particle of light. Do someone have screaming down a tunnel to the left and the other down a tunnel to the right? And when the photon heads are 13 miles apart, each must negotiate a maze. Each math goes its own alone as its separate ways. The whole idea of the song is that the, the, the photons once they're split in half and they're, they're 14 miles apart, they still respond identically to each other as if they were together. 
and they're they've been split in half because the one machine 14 miles away reads what it's doing and they put them through a maze and each half of the photon does exactly what the other half is doing communicating instantaneously over 14 miles uh, let me see if I understand this. Something isn't right. Professor Einstein said that nothing travels faster than this. Professor Einstein told us, made it very clear that nothing travels faster than the speed of light, except photons do, occasionally. I want to ask my friend what he thinks about this, this whole conversation. Excuse me. Now, You've heard me talking. What What do you think? Is that all you have to say? Okay, thank you. We'll call you. Oh, look who's here. A black and white copy of Lucille. I can't find the... I, in the process of cleaning up my... Uh, office I have misplaced Lucille among other things there have been a couple of things that have been lost that are very important I'll find them I'll find them they didn't leave they're still here uh, okay oops excuse me guys I better put them back where they belong I can't just throw them up on a shelf okay so here's what we're going to do I am going to play us out. I have memory loss. <laughs> Can't remember. Quantum mechanics again, right. It, it, just when you think you've been saved and all that quantum stuff. My mind is a screen door. Nothing understands <laughs> inside. I like that. Thoughts run through our heads and slam the door on the way out. That's it. I was thinking just the same. I was thinking of the same. Nice song. In G is better. Thank you. Yes, you're right. She's the best. Trump can work it out. No play like Jay. Beautiful drummer. Sh Sherry. There's Sherry. Where's Sherry? Hello, Sherry. How are you? I'm sorry I missed you. But, you know, I'm away from the, the uh, instrument, uh, the uh, computer a bit. And the, um, yes, Right, that's right. That's why I played it, Bill. In your honor, sort of. <laughs> the parts that were right were in your honor. The parts that were wrong were on me. Um, I know. I, that's right. It's one of the first things I heard you play. Um, okay. Now, here's what we're going to do. I'm going to treat you to something very interesting. We're going to go down the list here. Come on now. Let's go. It's called Double Cross. And this is with, with Michael and Randy Brecker, among others. Let me turn this up and let me do this right. Put my little headset so I can hear what's going on here. No, no, that's not it. Thank you very much. They really did just a Johnny. Live at Fat Tuesdays, Live at Fat Tuesdays, Double Cross. Joe Beck. Please don't pull the trigger, please don't shoot me dead. I will be no use to you with a bullet in my head. Please don't pull the trigger. I'll tell you all I know. Dave Samuel. I left the money down in Mexico. Jerry Clark. Down in Mexico. Down in Mexico. I was in Helsinki when you first met with Svetlana. I was in Nairobi when the fools, they called you Buana. I was in Rio on the day that you got shot. I watched the bullets dancing off your yacht. I was in Bermuda when you sailed out to the reef. I shot a boat full of the men, so hell bent on your grief. But now the hangman has his evil eyes on you. He knows about the party in Peru. Change the color of your eyes. Pack up all your lies. Put on your disguise and get the hell out of here. Too fast. I say you're the half. They've got your polygraph. They know all about your left, so get the hell out of here. 
out of here, please don't pull the trick, please don't shoot me dead, I will be no use to you with a bullet in my head, please don't pull the trigger, I'll tell you all I know, I gave the blueprints to an Eskimo, to an Eskimo, to an Eskimo. in New York riding in your limousine doing all your dirty work so quiet and unseen he is a youth. you go to Harlem and you do the dumbest about thing in my late you 40s. shoot the man who wears the diamond ring Hudson River barges full of diamonds full of lies great. Hudson River barges full of bourbon full of lies I can still do that. so I negotiate and somehow you escape before they squash you like a grape change the color of your eyes pack up all your lies put on your disguise and get the out of here. Carlos has a plan. He's a very evil man. Like they say in Steely Dan. You better get out of here. Out of here. Out of here. Randy Brown. Go back on guitar.
Jay Lenhart live at Fat Tuesdays. It's available. Don't shoot me dead. Please don't move a muscle now. Please don't turn your head. Cause in the corner with his sights set right between your eyes sits Carlos in disguise. Carlos in disguise. See his evil look. See his dirty stare. Fall down on your knees and beg it does not really care. care. I am sorry for the double cross, but money talks you know. I'll be right in. Now I must be off to Mexico. Get out of here, my son. I gotta finish this song. And to a rendezvous in Tokyo. And by the way, Svetlana says hello. Svetlana says hello. All right, good night, everyone. There you go. David Sanders, Terry Clark.